steps followed by CPU to execute an instruction. Step 1. Fetch instruction. Execution cycle starts with fetching instruction from main memory. The instruction at the current program counter PC will be fetched and will be stored in instruction register IR. Step 2. Decode instruction. During this step, the encoded instruction present in the IR instruction register is interpreted by the decoder to form a decoded version of the instruction. Step 3. Perform ALU operation. ALU or arithmetic logic unit is where two operands in the instruction will be operated on given operator. Such as, if the instruction wants to add two values, then here the addition will happen. ALU take two values and output one, the result of the operation. However, this step is optional as not all the instruction need to go through ALU, for example, the jump instruction. Step 4. Access memory. There are only two kinds of instructions that accesses memory, load and store. Store copies a register value to memory and load copies a value from memory to a register. Any other instruction skips this step. Update register file. In this step, the output or result of the ALU is written back to the register file to update the register file. The result could also be due to a load from memory. Some instructions do not have results to store. For example, branch and jump instructions do not have any results to store. Step 6. Update the PC or program counter. Ultimately, at the end of the execution of the current instruction, we need to update the program counter PC to the address of the next instruction so that you can go back to step 1 where the CPU will fetch instruction. However, the program counter might need to be set to other memory addresses than the next one if the instruction was branch or jump instruction. Thank you very much for watching the video. Like and share the video if you have liked it. And also subscribe to our channel so that you get all the latest videos as soon as they are uploaded. Thanks again.